What is going on Earth 2 novice enthusiasts and everyone in between? My name is Casey. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Earth 2 News. I'm honored to have you watching and coming to me as your Earth 2 News resource. Make sure you're subscribed. You've got those alert notifications on and you've filled out that contact form. If you don't know, that contact form will get you an opportunity to have me use your referral code have me uh, give you some land. I do weekly land giveaways. And then if you are a noob and you use my referral code for your first purchase and you send me a screenshot, I will send you an automated email when you fill out that contact form below. You can respond to that email with a screenshot showing that you use my referral code for your purchase. I will be so honored. You will have a chance to win and pick between some Dubai property or some UAE property, uh, oil fields, mines, diamond mines, gold mines. I'd go with the gold mines, copper, things like that. I've got all sorts of stuff, but it'd be your choice. I'll reach out to you, see what you're interested in, show you what land's available. And that's for the noobs. And that's because I know you guys are late to the party. I don't want you to feel like you're missing out. I know you missed out on buying the land when it was cheaper and higher land class. So that's a way for me to repay you and for me to thank you for trusting me to navigate you through Earth 2. But we are going to be discussing a different type of resource, oil. We have, there's been speculation as to whether or not oil would come into play. Now, I have been very bullish on oil. Oil and gold are really where I focus when I, I was buying resources or wh where I buy resources. Oil and gold. Why? Well, my simple thought process is if there are going to be any precious metals, what's the first precious metal you think of? Gold. Now, are they going to have platinum? I don't know. Maybe. But if they're going to have any, if they're going to have platinum, they'll definitely have gold. You see where you follow? follow one now, one thing that was a little bit more gray was whether or not there'd be oil. I saw a lot of people saying, oh, well, it's going to be you know, virtual land. Why would they have oil? Why would we have uh, you know, fossil fuel combustion engines and everything like that, especially now that we know that we're going to have teleporters? Well... I wouldn't have thought that they would have made this virtual land with the necessity to have fossil fuels either. But one of the developers mentioned, I think it was back in December when they went live, maybe it wasn't December. In any case, one of the developers mentioned oil when he was making a reference um, for, he was basically discussing resources and he made, he used oil as an example. So that's what led me to be hot on the oil train. So I've been buying up oil fields and things like that in a bunch of different countries on all sorts of continents. Now, recently, when they were discussing UAE, and I'm going to read what Shane had to say specifically, Shane, the CEO, uh, when they were announcing UAE, they mentioned the value that there obviously is with UAE. Now stay tuned because we have more countries coming. We have more countries to be released. And some of these countries are also known for the oil, like Saudi Arabia. So we got more oil to come. What's Shane got to say in oil, uh, say about oil? Oil in the UAE across, across all of the Emirates, uh, irrelevant of size. If you own tiles on land in the UAE where oil is a proven resource, you will, once the resource production starts for oil, which is phase two, which is again coming up, uh, once, a, uh, once the resource production starts for oil, of course have the opportunity to produce oil. And though the UAE oil fields are mostly out in the Persian Gulf, out in the water, that's, they got a lot of those platforms out there. Uh, you can also be sure that the U, your UAE tiles, whether they're above a proven oil field or not, will have the capability to generate oil at least to some extent. What's that mean? Oil extraction on Earth 2 is much more advanced than on Earth 1. One caveat though. We're pretty sure that oil will play an important role on the resource economy of Earth 2, but energy production in the long run will most likely be of a more sustainable nature. So that makes sense, right? Now, I have also purchased some land along rivers. Why? Just guessing that the rivers may be in the future at some point. And again, th these things may develop. They might not even have the 
thoughts of doing like hydroelectric generation and doing dams and things like that but down the road there's no reason that they can't implement it it sounds like they are looking for more sustainable things like the hydroelectric electric capabilities wind solar and uh, you know the sun shines just about anywhere you just buy along the equator you should be good to go and uh, wind you can look up wind maps and everything like that but it's pretty easy to find a, a river and especially when you see the the rivers flowing got some white rapids on there you know it's flowing pretty fast nice size river nice amount of volume be nice for a dam that's what i purchased so not as many of those as uh, the oil fields in the gold just because i figured there's it's not too hard i don't know how it's going to be when somebody buys the river uh, a little bit above me and they want to build a dam there you know i Am I still going to be able to generate any any power? Are they going to dam up the water? How responsive is the land going to be to things like that? I don't know. We're going to have to see. But I think it will be very realistic. So that definitely is a problem. And that's also one of the reasons that I stopped investing in uh, dam sites. Because as much as it was fun to say, uh, you know, look at my dam portfolio. Look at all this dam land I've got. Uh, you know, um, it it's something where someone could snipe it out from under you and oil could still be sniped out from under you if you watch the movie There Will Be Blood but it would be harder for them to do I don't know if they're going to go into that much uh, depth and uh, same thing with gold if I buy on a gold mine and I've got videos that show you how I find these things so check out those other videos maybe one will be popping up I'm always on the wrong side I always I look at the camera I'm like it's reversed popping up over here um, I'll show you how I find gold and salt and copper and all sorts of stuff there's certain things to look for and it's important that you find the right areas I think I have like an eight-step process that I cover um, so yeah fun fun stuff but I think oil is gonna be interesting um, I'm not looking to be an oil tycoon. I did diversify. I've got uh, some iron as well. I didn't even stick with just the precious metals. I've got some copper. I've got some nickel. But in any extent, uh, that's my that was my thought process. Is you know the developer mentioned it. Now Shane has confirmed it. So if there's any oil that you want to be getting, I mean, honestly, I bought up some oil land in Dubai. I didn't feel like buying out in the water, out in the Persian Gulf. Um, I found some sites, I found some oil rigs and stuff and I was gonna buy them up, but I don't know if I would have to terraform or do any of that jazz. So uh, I just bought the land because the land could serve multiple purposes. I wouldn't have to terraform it. I could start buying a building right away. Uh, I feel like there's gonna be more eyeballs out in the land. Some people are probably gonna build some islands out there, out in the Persian Gulf and, and do some uh, terraforming and maybe build a city out there and that'll be cool. But uh, initially, not knowing who's going to be where and what's going to be what, I just figured I'd go for the certified oil fields. And there's a massive amount. If you look at Dubai, I'm sorry, Abu Dhabi, um, that's where I was really looking for oil. Dubai, I was just buying up some key spots. But uh, Abu Dhabi, I was definitely going for uh, some oil. And I got a good chunk of oil. So I'm going to be happy with that. Can't wait to start learning more about what it requires uh, you know, as far as the extrication process, um, I'm sure it's going to cost us some money or some resources in order to do it, but I'm interested. Another option, if you're not familiar, check out my video on phases, check out my videos on land classes. If you're new, check out my beginner series and maybe that'll be popping up here. Got the right side this time. Maybe that'll be popping up here. If you're on the right channel, if it didn't just pop up right there, the beginner series, that means you're probably on my bigger channel my main channel but earth 2 news is the channel you want to be following if you want the most up-to-date information on earth 2 because that's where my videos post first that's where i go live 100 percent of the times i go live will be on earth 2 news and also again that contact form not only will you be in the referral raffle not only will you be in the land giveaway raffle not only will new people who send me the screenshots of my code on their first purchase be able to get some uh, free land and you know win some free land from me but I will also send out emails with updates when it's something that I will like I said it, I said before like uh, if I if I have a paragraph of information to tell you 
I'm not going to make a video and edit and post and, and do all that jazz. I'm just going to shoot out a quick email, especially if it's something that's time sensitive. Like if they if there's an announcement where it's like, hey, Easter eggs are going out at midnight and it's 11.55, I'm not doing a video. I'm going to bang out a quick email and then I'm going to get on Earth too and I'm going to start hunting for Easter eggs. I'm assuming they're going to give us more of an advance notice than that, so that's not a, uh, a realistic uh, example don't worry don't you don't have to stress out they're probably gonna give us uh, plenty of time to prepare for the Easter egg hunt and uh, I will probably be going live for that so um, definitely make sure you subscribe you got those alert notifications on again that contact form Just follow both my channels I would love to have subscribers on both but make sure if not both you're at least on earth 2 news so you get the most updated information you get the videos of when I post them the first time and you catch me when I go live so you can uh, be with me live when we do the Easter egg hunt I had some fun as much as I had a lot of frustration going live for the Dubai release um, for those of you who are there got into some vodka spent uh, about four times as much money as I anticipated spending I was using y'all's referral code so if I use your referral code on that congratulations that was the most I spent in one day um, so and it was like two hours and I spent uh, about two grand so yeah fun stuff uh, in any case I hope you guys have an amazing day I look forward to our next video I love this time that we have together I never hear anything from you I can't speak up feels like a one-way conversation but until next time don't worry I'm not not holding against you if you're shy comments likes all that other jazz and I look forward to helping you navigate this marvelous miraculous magical mystical magnanimous maniacal world of earth 2 <laughs>